you and I briefly talked about this in the sense of just like how how much the attribution game has changed. I, I think anytime anyone mentions attribution, I know you have uh, unique thoughts on this. How do you approach attribution, knowing like yeah. where something's coming from, and then some things like do you do you track everything? How how do you measure? You know, let's say the success of a podcast, yep. the driving cases, for example. Yep. I am right about this, right? You, you have to do it this way, and most people don't. So attribution, and, and this has really evolved from my listening to you, because you talked about the, 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 the focus on the brand, right? Focus on the brand. Chris Walker and you have really talked about understanding brand, brand affinity. When people are looking for a car accident lawyer, you want them to think about Smith & Jones, not I'm going to Google to car accident lawyer. That's the whole point of this. If you're doing that, the way we have traditionally done brand uh, conversion attribution is to say, okay, I'm going to put together a really sophisticated system that understands when you click on this ad, you go to the website, I see a dynamic call tracking number from CallRail, I make that phone call, it goes into my intake management software, ideally that ties into my matter management software, and I tie that all together and I can draw a little pie graph and it's really good, which only works for those things that are direct response. And it works because... When you ask someone, how did you hear about us? They'll say Google or the internet, which is really, really not helpful because on Google, you've got local, organic, LSAs, and PPC to start out with. And you're spending money on all four of those things and you need to know if those are working. In a direct response situation, like super valuable and you have to have that automatic um, attribution modeling. But you also have to have the question, and I don't like, how did you hear about us? I like, hey, Michael, we're really well known in the Atlanta market. And I like to send out a, a thank you gift to people who refer his business. You know, we're it's trying to send a, a, a bouquet of flowers to anyone. And that will, that open-ended question will get you telling me why you learned about it. Was it the podcast? Was it your, you know, my kid's soccer team coach, whatever, whatever it was, doesn't matter. And that has to be free form because you don't want a drop down because you want that person to go into why they talk to you. Right. So it has to be free form. And now the problem is I've got two conflicting pieces of data. I've got my automatic reporting and I've got my, how did you hear about us reporting? And, and, the, and, and so it's really hard for MBAs to draw a nice little graphs when you have conflicting pieces of data, but you have to dig into that and really deeply, truly understand why that person is connected with you. Why have they connected with you? That person that looks like it came from paper, like actually called you because you have this great reputation among the, you know, running community, right? And that, and that changes everything. And so you have to take that discipline and it's hard and it takes time and it's, probably should not be downsourced to someone who's, you know, the marketing intern at the firm. I think if more people knew, like if they truly knew how every client came into the firm, they would look at their marketing entirely different. So what happens is when you go, what, when you go through the process of actually rectifying and, and, and validating between these two pieces, these two conflicting sources, why did this person really connect with us? When you go through that process at the end, you won't have a pie graph, but what you'll have is a deep understanding of, you know what, the podcast works for me, right? Or, or that this works for me or that that works for me. And the other thing that happens when you're doing a lot of different things is it won't be a single answer. It's multi-touch. I heard you on the podcast. I saw you speak at the this. You're a member of the Eagles, whatever it is, and you coach and you're on the you you help the Boy Scouts, whatever. It doesn't matter. I've got four reasons that you're connecting with me. And what you start to see, and it's all anecdotal, but you have the synergy of one plus one plus one equals seven. When you're running multiple marketing channels, everything else works better. The success you have in anywhere makes everything else work better. And that's amazing, right? 